It's officially trade season in the NBA. Here we are, late January, a big trade just went down as we're just two weeks away from the 2023 NBA trade deadline. If a trade goes down in the NBA, it's always a big deal, but when it's the Lakers, it gets even bigger. Rui Hachimura to the Los Angeles Lakers for Kendrick Nunn and three future second round picks. 2023 pick from Chicago, 2028 from another team, and 2029 of the Lakers. So of those three picks, it's only one pick from the Lakers. Now let's react to this Rui trade. Rui Hachimura, just 24 years old, a big body who's coming off Washington's bench, 230 pounds. He could play that small ball role for the Los Angeles Lakers. I like this pickup a lot. Uh, they didn't get rid of too much the Lakers and Kendrick Nunn. He's just averaging 6.7 points per game and just 13.5 minutes per game for the Lakers. Now, Nunn is a good young player, you know, a good guard, quick facilitating point guard who could score the ball pretty good. But if you look at the Lakers team, they have a lot of that. They have uh, Dennis Schroeder, Russell Westbrook, of course, Patrick Beverly, you know, a defensive stopper who isn't exactly that scorer, but they're pretty loaded at the guard position. Now, why I think this is so good for the Lakers, uh, they need a wing guy so badly. Uh, Rui Hachimura could score the ball pretty good, 13 points per game, 4.3 rebounds per game on 48.8 field goal percentage, 33.7 three-point percentage. Lakers need a big wing like Rui. It's not going to swing with Troy Brown at the forward position, not shooting too well, even though he's good on defense. Even Austin Reeves, he's a great young player, still will get a lot of minutes with Rui Hachimura in the lineup. But you need a guy like Rui in that lineup to kind of take the pressure off LeBron, take the pressure off AD when all of them are back healthy. Even in Rui's last game, he was balling out. 30 points on 13 of 22, field goals made, 3 of 5 from 3 point range against the Orlando Magic. Did all of this in just 30 minutes of play. Now that's a great sign for the Lakers. Now I'm not saying Rui Hachimura is a superstar, but this is definitely a big move for the Lakers, great for their bench. Now is this the last move they're going to make of the trade deadline just a couple weeks away? I don't think so. I know a lot of people want the Lakers to get rid of Russell Westbrook, but I think he's been playing terrific for them off the bench recently. A bunch of 25-point games while, you know, kind of taking the pressure off LeBron James's back while he's carrying the team. I know a hot name for the Lakers right now is is Jakob Pertl of the San Antonio Spurs. I think they should go after him. They do have those first round picks, so if they want to leverage that for Pertl, I think that's the way to go. Thomas Bryant has been playing well, but on defense, he's not really the guy Pertl is. Pertl's a great all-around player for the Spurs. Fits into Popovich's system well. Could score, rebound, pass the ball. Yeah, Bryant's good at scoring and has balled out recently, but I think Pertl's the one you gotta get. Another move the Lakers might have to make I want, to, I want to see them go after Kyle Lowry, the Miami Heat. I mean, he's a veteran point guard, NBA champion. He's not the player he used to be, but the Lakers need a facilitating point guard who could really handle the ball, get LeBron in the best position he could be. And, you know, Kyle Lowry's a great three-point shooter. The Lakers need that desperately. Rui could also help them from three. But as the Lakers needed Hachimura to fill that forward spot, the Washington Wizards are equally in need of a guard. Yeah, they have Bradley Beal at the two, but just losing Kristaps Porzingis for a couple weeks, they're going to lose out on a lot of points. So that's where Kendrick Nunn comes into play. They're not going to survive really too much in the East with Monte Morris and DeLon Wright as their point guard. Kendrick Nunn is still young, so that's an upgrade for the future. And for the now, he's a scoring guard who could help them out immensely. Another interesting point for the Washington Wizards side of this trade, this shows that, you know, tying into the Lakers again, they have extreme confidence in Kyle Kuzma. Kuzma, NBA champion, of course, came over from the Lakers in a deal, um, is, is probably their franchise cornerstone right now, along with Chris Stapps, Porzingis, and Bradley Beal. The trio has been good themselves putting up numbers, but the Washington Wizards haven't been too hot this season, you know, as a team. But Kyle Kuzma, he got paid. He's going to get paid even more. Uh, Hachimura was Kuzma and Porzingis is back up in Washington, you already know that they're going to be building around Kuz. They like what they're seeing from Kuz. And rumors say they wanted to trade Kuzma, but this move makes it seem like they're not going to get rid of him at all. Now, I know people in the NBA Buzz comment section were saying, that's all it takes to get Rui Hachimura, a 24-year-old, 13-point, 15-point-per-game guy on your team. Now, that is true, but Rui requested a trade from the Wizards just this week. He answered no comment when he uh, was asked by it by reporters. So that's pretty obvious that he requested a trade. I think Washington's back was against the wall. They knew the deadline was just two weeks away, and they needed to get rid of Rui for, for something. That's where none comes into play. Those future 2000... Uh, 
28, 2029 second round picks. You never know what those could be. Basketball is this ever evolving sport. These kids nowadays are growing to be these insane athletes. Who knows who will be around in the second round in 2028, 2029. So for Washington, I would give it a B. And for the Lakers, I would give it an A. Uh, you look at Hachimura to fill in that forward spot for the Lakers. Lakers aren't going to survive in the playoffs with Troy Brown as their starting small forward. Not going to survive with Austin Reeves as their starting small forward, even though he's a great young player himself. Hachimura is exactly what the Lakers needed. Not going to be their last pick, but definitely a move in the right direction to take some weight off LeBron and AD's back. Lakers are in win-now mode, so you already know that they're going to probably re-sign Hachimura this offseason. And a trade for Kendrick Nunn, who, you know, second, third guard on the team, not exactly putting up the numbers he was in Miami, I think it's a no-brainer. I think the Lakers made the right deal. You got to give them an A, an A grade for this trade. Hachimura in, Nunn out. Now, what is this going to look like for the Los Angeles Lakers' is starting five when everybody's healthy, when AD is back, when Lonnie Walker is back, when other guys are back and healthy? All right, so Austin Reeves was pretty much in that starting lineup. I would substitute Hachimura with him, and I would go with Dennis Schroeder, Lonnie Walker, Rui Hachimura, LeBron, and AD. That gives you Russell Westbrook, Patrick Beverly, Austin Reeves, Troy Brown, Thomas Bryant, Wenyan Gabriel, and Max Christie off the bench. I think that starting five has nice versatility with scoring, defense with Hachimura in there. Anthony Davis was blocking a ton of shots before he went down with injury. And then they're scoring in everybody. Lonnie Walker, really an unsung hero for that team so far this season. Schroeder, Walker, Rui, LeBron, and AD. I think that's the starting five you have to go with. At this point in the video, January 23rd, 2023, the Lakers are in a pretty good spot. Yeah, they're 12th in the standings, but they're just two and a half games out from the fifth seed Dallas Mavericks. Now, the Western Conference standings is crazy close. It's usually never this close where it's a two and a half game differential in seven seedings. Now, from 12th to 5th, that's that's crazy. Will this Hachimura deal make them title contenders, championship contenders? Who knows? But with AD healthy coming back soon, Rui Hachimura in there taking place of Kendrick Nunn, I could definitely see this Laker team sneaking at least into the playing game. That's the 7-8-9 seed. Now, what do they need to do? They need to have less reliance on LeBron James. He's averaging something like 37 a game over 10, 10 games since turning 38 years old. Now, that's absurd. Will that stand for the rest of the season? Not sure. If AD's out, I don't think that stands for the rest of the year like that. LeBron's 38. He has to come back to earth soon. But Hachimura, LeBron, AD in a starting lineup... They're all 6'8 plus, pretty big dudes who play defense and could all score the ball. So I could see the Lakers at least making the play-in game, maybe finishing as the sixth seed at best. But you really need LeBron cranking. You really need AD playing like he was before the injury. And of course, his best ability should be availability, staying healthy and being on the floor for the Lakers. So I give the Rui Hachimura trade an A. Uh, definitely will help them out and probably at least get them to a playing game. So I got to give credit to the Lakers for scooping him up after he requested a trade from the Wizards.